Okay, YouTube. Um, right now I gotta. I just have to do this video because I know it's gonna help you guys out. Um, here this is okay. Yeah, so it's gonna help you guys out tremendously. If you don't have a wireless printer, but you do have a laptop, as do I, that is wireless and it's connected to your uh wireless computer. Okay. Say you have a desktop that's hooked up to your printer. Okay, that's how my house is. That's a lot of my friends' houses. They have one printer. It's connected to their desktop. So if they want to print anything, either they have to email it or they have to plug the printer up via USB to the computer. I'm going to show you how to do that completely wirelessly. It is, oh my gosh, I cannot, just figure, I cannot believe I just figured this out. But there's no videos on YouTube up, so I'm going to do a video really quick. It's going to, it, it's going to, it, it's gonna show you how to you, now okay I'm sorry I'm kind of skipping around here I'm just so excited okay you have to be plugged up uh, you have to have your wireless printer plugged up to your computer that is plugged up to your wireless router okay you don't have to have a wireless printer you just have to have the printer plugged up to your computer that is plugged up to your wireless router okay after that that, that I mean that's pretty much it and then you have to have a laptop or another desktop that's connected to that. I have Windows Vista. I don't know if it's gonna work. Uh, I mean, it works if the the actual printer is on the uh, XP. But I don't know how I'm gonna be able to show you guys this if you have XP. Uh, there's probably a way around it. There's probably it's probably just about the same way. So uh, you guys can still watch this too. And if it helps, great. If it doesn't, I'm really sorry. But I think it should work. Okay. So uh, let's go ahead and hop into it. Uh, I'm going to use Cam Studio to record this, so yeah, let's go ahead and start this. Okay, you guys, I am recording, and here we go. So, uh, this is a Windows Vista laptop. It doesn't look like it looks more like a Mac, but it is a Windows Vista laptop. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to click on your start, and you're also, the first, first thing you actually need to do is you have to be connected to your wireless router that is connected to your computer that is plugged up to your your uh, your wired uh, printer. After you're done with that, and after you're connected, I'm already connected to uh, the wireless router here. So exit out of that. So I need to go into network. Okay, right here. It's probably on XP the same. Okay. Then I'm gonna go into your wireless router, which should be right. Oh wait, excuse me. I'm sorry. You should. You have to go into. Um, Let's see. Network and Sharing Center. It's right there. Network and Sharing Center. Okay? That's it right there. Then you click on it. And then it's going to pop up with this. Okay? And it's going to say Lysinks, or Linksys, excuse me, Internet, Addison's Computer. That's me. Uh, and then it's going to have all this signal crap and everything. You don't need that. You're just going to click on View Full Map. So let's click on that. Okay? should pop up. I'm going to give you guys a second to do that. And after you're done with that, you're going to hear you're going to click on your computer that is hooked up to your uh, wireless router and you'll see it right down here. Mine is named Linda, that's my mother. Okay, and then it's going to pop up with all this stuff right through here. It's going to say shared documents, printer. We have a bunch of printer uh, old printers that are still uh, synced with uh, our uh, computer right now, but this is my this is my printer, and you need to go through these and just highlight over them, and it will give you the names. See right there, Microsoft XPS printer number five is Canon 500 series, uh, Microsoft Office Document Image Writer, and MX310 series fax. So I want to go through the printer. Okay, so I'm just gonna click on it like this. Double click actually, and then. It's going to say initializing right there, refresh, okay? Then even if it has an error message, cannot connect, you're just going to want to click on printer, and then you're going to want to check set as default printer, okay? So after you're done with that, you're just going to want to exit out, exit out of all this stuff. You don't need it anymore. And then I'm going to type in, uh, or I'm going to go to my uh, office word or whatever, and then I'm just going to type something. Hi, uh, oop, excuse me, I'm sorry, my audio went down there for a second. I'm going to just type something. How about this? I want to type it really big. I'm going to type it about 18. Hi, YouTube. Subscribe. Oop. 
Okay, after we got that, uh, I'm going to change it to a little bit bigger font. 24, 26, I'm going to do 28. So after we've done that, we just want to go up here and it's going to be, oh, excuse me, no, I don't want to exit. I want to go up here and then I'm going to go to print. You guys all know how to do this, print. And then it's going to come up with a little box unless you quick, uh, unless you clicked uh, quick print. Uh, right down here it says connecting to printer. Uh, okay, this is not responding. Crap. Oh, okay, there it goes. Okay, so then right here you'll see where it says the printer. It's going to say your name, which mine was Linda slash Canon MX3 printer. You guys got it. That's it, okay? And then we're just going to click on OK. And say it said, hi, YouTube, subscribe. And guys, I'm not lying to you. Okay, seriously, I am so excited right now. Um, I'm going to try to see. Oh, wait, my printer might be out of uh, paper. Let me go see if that is real quick. Hang on, YouTube. Okay, it says, ink is very, running very low down here. I'm sorry about all that, guys. I just had to go put some more paper in because I forgot to do that before. So, okay, see, look, now it comes up with a little error message. Okay, cancel printing, then we got to print it again. I'm just going to go through quick print this time. But the first time you do it, you need to uh, click print, not quick print. Uh, unless you have, like, Windows 2003, like, or whatever this is, uh, Microsoft Word. So it should quick print. It it does take a little bit longer, but guys, it's a lot. It takes a lot less time than having to go plug it up via USB every single time you want to print something. Um, okay, it still says the paper is out. So let me go check that. There might be something wrong. I am so sorry about all this crap that I'm having to do. Uh, still kind of working on all the bugs. I think my printer, I loaded too much paper. So that's probably what it was. Okay, let's see. Print. Quick print. Then it should print if we don't have any problems. And there it is, guys. It is loading. Oops. My doc is in the way. Come on, doc. And then it should be loading down here. It should say loading right there. And then it's printing, guys. Printing, printing, printing. Look, printing, printing, printing. Holy crap, it's printing. So that that is it, guys. Um, That is how to print off a non-wired printer. Um, Hang on one second, guys, and I will switch back to the other camera. Paper is jammed, isn't it? There it is. Can read that. Hi, YouTube. Subscribe. Okay. So, <laughs> so um, that I hope that got. I hope that got. I, I hope that helped. I'm sorry for all my stuttering. I'm just really anxious to uh, get this out here on YouTube. Um, um, post comments. Make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and uh, check me out at masterasm.com. Um, also. Uh, I'm sorry for all those delays in the video, the uh, Camp Studio video. I was just trying to uh, uh, make a video and I forgot to put paper in the printer and then it jammed. So yeah, if your printer doesn't suck, it's going to work the first time. Uh, even if it pops up with a little error message on your screen that says, cannot connect to printer that when you're on the network and everything, just exit out of the little, uh, exit out of the, uh, little error message, then go to printer and then set as uh, I think it's set as standard or set as uh, set as permanent or something like that. But you're just gonna want to do that, and that is all, guys. So uh, if if this video helped you out, rate it five stars, and uh, don't forget to comment. And yeah, so uh, yeah, guys, thanks.